Alright, audio recovered. I watched your video on seven stupid Amazon products and I decided to go ahead and give you a video response. And the first product, now, I, I'm going to only talk about six of them, okay? The reason I'm not going to talk about the seventh one is I just really have nothing to say about it. But the other six, I do have something to say about it. Uh, you were talking about this uh, thing that looked like a grenade and had little spikes on it. And you were saying something about organ re regeneration. Well, hmm, I think that's a, I think they did a little bit of a typo on that. I think what it means is you put this little grenade thing on your organ that you play and all the little cords and everything just suddenly regenerate overnight. Maybe that's what that really is supposed to be. I don't know. But I would think that. Anyway. Um, yeah, and the little thing you're supposed to hook onto your steering wheel so you can put your laptop on it. Yeah. Can we say collisions? Fatalities? Yes. Can we say, hey, if the cop comes by and sees you with that thing, you're going to immediately get a ticket? Just a thought there. You know, oh, gee, the revolution in texting and driving. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Don't watch it in front of you while you're driving your car. Watch the movie right in front of you. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah. And uh, uranium. Okay, now here's the confusing part about the uranium. Okay, you, they, let's say you actually bought the uranium. Now, how in the heck are they supposed to ship it to you? I guarantee you FedEx is not going to ship that stuff to you. And I guarantee you that UPS is not going to ship that stuff to you, and neither is the post office. So how in the world do these people think that they, they're going to get that uranium to you? Can we say um, stupid people or scam? That'd be a better word. Yeah. And like the, the people that got a hold of the uranium that's trying now to sell it to you. Like, can you imagine what's happening to them right now? Organ degeneration. Uh, they're possibly in the hospital, possibly even dead. I mean, you get exposed to that much uranium? Yeah. I mean, you know, they probably have stockpiles of the stuff. Well, they got a uranium suit that keeps it protected while they put it in the box and ship it to you? Yeah. Just, just a thought there. Okay. And these big ships that we're supposed to figure out how to avoid. Okay, how... How to avoid big ships. Okay, yeah, you must be totally blind to not be able to see a ship that big. I mean, to, to not see a ship that big until you're practically on top of it, you must be the most blind person. On I mean, my gosh, you must be more blind than Stevie Wonder. Just a thought. Okay, an internet cable. Now, if this internet cable was plated in 24 karat gold, it might be worth 500 bucks. Otherwise, yeah. Can we say scam? And do-it-yourself surgery. What's next? Do-it-yourself neurology where they teach you how to, how to lobotomize yourself? I like that. Or how about do-it-yourself heart surgery? Hey, don't go see the heart doctor. Just do it yourself. Yes, and if you have a heart attack, well, I'm sorry. But let me tell you something, if the kit doesn't work, you can get your money back if you live that long. Yeah. Oh, worried about your pancreas? Don't worry about that. You can have it removed. Yeah. Yeah. But I have a feeling one of these days there will be a lot of do-it-yourself kits. Um, I'm sorry to say, you probably see a lot of do-it-yourself surgeries in the not-so-distant future. Yeah, it's a sad thing on the economy, but... Yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. I'll tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.